Well, I'm ABC 10's Tracy Humphrey, and I'm here with Megan Evans, as she is a guru when it comes to <laughs> healthy living, healthy eating, and today you're going to tell us a little bit about how I can clean my home with less synthetic products and to do it a little bit more, more naturally and also more healthy. Yes. Okay. okay. So we did this early on ABC 10, but we didn't have enough time to get to everything. Yes. So I want to show you everything now. So the EPA, Tracy, actually says that indoor air pollution is two to five times worse than outdoor air pollution oh and the reason is because of all the chemicals that we use inside our homes okay we don't realize it um so let's start with laundry okay right. you have to think your detergent is with you basically all day long the clothes you wear yeah. the sheets you sleep on the towels you use in the laundry you know in your shower uh -oh. like freaking you're, me out man yeah <laughs> <laughs> so well, the thing is is your skin is the largest organ so in this stuff absorbs and we also breathe it in um so yeah. the main thing i want to say to look out for with laundry detergents is synthetic fragrances fragrances are just perfumes if you see that on the label the the thing is is there are so many chemicals that make up these fragrances and uh -huh. perfumes that um, we don't even know, but they've also been linked to hormone imbalance. Um, they're endocrine disruptors. They lead to other issue, health issues too, so. But here's the thing, we grow up thinking we gotta smell fresh, right? Mm -hmm. They always say that, do you wanna smell like fresh laundry? So what you're telling me now is, it's best if my products have no smell. No smell at all, or okay. if you really wanna smell, you can use essential oils. So you oh. can buy a fragrance-free laundry detergent and then just add some essential oils to it. I like that. Because um, that's definitely a better fragrance, better for your health. Okay, so um, tell me about these guys. Who are they and why so do you like them? This is a company called Branch Basics. I really love them because not only is it great for laundry, they send you this concentrate, you order it online. They send you this and you can use this concentrate for cleaning your bathroom, you can actually, for your laundry, for your kitchen. Okay, I like that, all purpose. Yes, so they send you a few extra bottles with it. You pour in the concentrate, mix it with some water. It's different ratios for if you're using it for laundry detergent or if mm -hmm. you're using it um, in your kitchen. Um, but it is super clean. There's no parabens and phthalates. These are all just chemicals. Even some of them um, have been linked to cancer. So Ugh. there are carcinogens that are in a lot of the mainstream um, products that these products don't have. But if you didn't want to order something online, you could always do e um, Ecos. They are actually at uh, Whole Foods? Cost, yeah, Whole Foods and Costco. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the price point for something like this? So if I'm uh, like penny pinching yeah. and I want to get into this, but I need to get into it slowly. Yeah. Well, I say definitely do it like one at a time. You know, don't feel like you have to go in and throw out all your products right away. Okay. You can use them up. And then whenever you're starting again new, um, actually, I can't even think of what they are, but this, this is like the same price as you know your regular mainstream okay well that's good i'm not spending yeah. more yeah just because i want to be i want to make sure i'm healthy right okay right so right. three products and even if you laundry. do spend a little bit more i mean it's your health you know it is your health i always say you won't spend more later on on medical bills <laughs> okay that's a good point she got me on that one right so you got three for laundry now tell me what the others are okay so now let's move to the bathroom bathroom now this will save you money okay. you can get baking soda and okay vinegar. i already got that that's good exactly you, most people <laughs> probably already have this in their homes under five dollars wow so i'd love to use this for the bathtub so you can just instead you of dilute bleach, it yes yeah, so what we do is i just cover it you know put some of the baking soda down in the bathtub pour a little vinegar in there and just get your scrub you let it, and, do you let it sit for a while yeah you can let it sit for a while or okay. you can even go right at it um can I mop but, with it too? Yeah. Oh yeah. You can. Okay. There's also another brand that I wanted to bring today and I completely forgot it at home, but it's called Aunt Fanny's. And so it's actually a vinegar solution with the essential oils in it. Oh, I like that. So it smells already. You can even make this easy at home. You can look online, um, just like search a vinegar bathroom cleaner essential uh -huh. oil solution. They're super easy to make, but if you didn't want to make it, you can buy Aunt Fanny's, I believe sells at Rayleigh's and Whole Foods. Uh -huh. um, they're probably even at Costco too. Uh -huh. um, don't you think but, it's interesting though that we've been, I don't want to say force fed, but we're led to believe that we have to buy things to clean. And these yeah. are things that most people already have in their cabinets yeah. at home. Yeah, and the thing is, is vinegar is actually shown to kill germs just as well as all the harsh chemicals. Love it. And the thing is, you know, you can eat vinegar. Like we put vinegar in things. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's something that, you know, you can't eat bleach. <laughs> you know what I mean? You better not. And bleach also just, it can cause, um, it can even burn the skin. It causes irritation to the skin, but respiratory issues. Uh -huh. Studies have linked bleach to respiratory issues, so it impairs lung function 
question. <laughs> you got my attention. To be a no, no. But you, you were learning and you're yeah. teaching us and giving us things we probably didn't already know. So right. I like it. Thank yeah. you. And especially around kids, like bleach is, you know, really bad for kids too with their little lungs and their skin so delicate. And they're so. highly susceptible to all, all those different type of, uh, what do you call it, synthetics that you're right. talking about out there. Yes, yes. So what is, what's this? Well, and let me hit last. this really quick. Oh, what's that? Um, actually, hydrogen peroxide. What you going to do with that? It actually kills <laughs> mold better than bleach. So if you have, if you're fighting mold in your bathroom, just get some hydrogen peroxide. Again, so much better for your skin, for your lungs. I probably already have some hydrogen and peroxide. Yeah. So yeah. I can just put it in a spray bottle. Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, and good. actually, I got this spray bottle off Amazon. So you can just even order it off Amazon just like that. And it's already in the okay, spray so bottle. Okay, so this is you. my whole bathroom, possibly my countertops in my kitchen as well. Yep. You okay. can use it. Yeah, you can use this in your kitchen too. Um, and then let's talk about dish soap. So also in the dish soap, listen, you're you're drinking water out of these glasses, you're eating off of these plates. Oh my you know, I talk about organic, organics, you know, really important. So we go out of the way to get organic, but then we're bringing all these chemicals yeah. into the kitchen. So it kind of, you know, negates you buying organic food. What's the smell? I, no smell again? I prefer not to. Have oh my it. gosh. It smells like nothing. But I like tuna perk. But women. You, but you don't want to have that mixed in with your food, right? No. You don't want to eat lavender. But I feel like I'm being clean because my because then my kitchen smells clean. You know, right. I've been force fed. I gotta smell clean. Yeah, and that, again, I would say you know try to use some essential oils. There's even like a like a lemongrass essential oil that you can use, but definitely read the essential oils before you use any of them that you're going to be consuming. Okay. Um. But I know it takes a little bit to get used to. I used to like I used to love the candles, the dryer sheets. So the, you're saying um, ixnay on all that? Yeah, I mean I had hormone issues, and so that's really whenever I got into this and healed my hormone issues from getting rid of all of these things. Oh my goodness! So, so now I'm gonna say to you that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. Okay. But can they cross pollinate? Yes. Well, definitely <laughs> the vinegar and baking soda. You okay. can use this bathroom, kitchen. Um, and then, yeah, and then you'll have to just get a laundry detergent. But, okay. uh, and one more thing, I, another tip, I'm big on reading ingredients with food. I always say read the ingredients. Look at the back of the um, products that you are buying as well, especially the ones that say things like made without dyes and parabens. Um, that's oh always goodness. really good to just make sure. And again, you don't yeah. want to get the Hypoallergenic, readily biodegradable pH balance and never tested on animals for mm -hmm. this one. Yeah, for yeah, and they're, these are actually the same brand too. So, um, and this is a good one that you okay, can- Okay, Meg, so how can people find you when you, you've got all this great advice if people want to find you on social media? Yeah. I've been trolling her. So <laughs> how Definitely can go find to you? Megan Processed um, on Instagram. I'm on Facebook too. You can go to MeganProcessed.com, my website where I have more info. And then go to ABC10.com slash Meg to see all the segments that I do here. Right. And I'll be bringing you more information each week. Okay, and she said that she told me this before we went on. Please do not call her Miss Unprocessed. She is <laughs> Megan. Her name is Megan Evans. She just goes by Meg Unprocessed. A lot of people get that confused. <laughs> thank you for joining us today. Uh, and we you, got Tracy. a lot to learn. So thank you. I can't wait to do more segments with you. This is yeah. wonderful.